What is up, everyone? I am Mini Hippie, and we are back from a long, 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 long hiatus. And this is my friend, Matt. He will be joining us today. <laughs> anyway, I'm Mini Hippie, and this is Mick Stretch, and we're playing games on Gamers Paradise. I wasn't about to say Game Rooks because this is Gamers Paradise. Not Game Rooks. Game Rooks is stupid. Yeah, dude. Anyway, we're playing Faster Than Light, and I love this game, even though it's incredibly hard, and Mick has never seen this game. So, Mick. Nope. You lied to me. You said it was easy. I didn't say that. I said it was difficult to master, easy. No, it was easy to master, difficult. No. How did you word it? Easy to play, difficult to master. Other way around. Anyway, so this is our spaceship. These are our guys. We're going to change their names. Ugh. Okay, Rest we in are. Peace, Jim Morrison. Oh. All right, we're going to start. Why are we paused? Continue. Okay. Oh, you know the rules? Yeah. Okay. Alright, so basically we can open doors and close doors. This is Mick. He's working on the the engines right now. And I we am can the engineer. We can click on him and make him go to other rooms, but we're gonna leave him in there. Uh this is Dan uh Colin and he's working on the uh guns and then Dan is steering. Damn it, you made Dan the captain. Okay. Well it looks like you're hard at work. Alright, so Basically, we're gonna make a jump. We here, we are here. Yes, we're here. We can get to go here or this way, and we're trying it here. So let's just go there. We can't. We have to make our way through stars. Wow, that's shitty. All right, which way do you want to go? That way. All right. Dude, that was like faster than light, man. Dude. Are you using a phone? No. <laughs> you recognize the ship as well as an... As a well-known slave trader. Yeah, he yeah. hails you and offers you laborers for cheap. Yes. We don't have any money. Oh, I was going to name a... Nothing. You were going to name that, weren't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Attack him. Ignore. Or, yeah. Just let them... Peaceful. Be peaceful. Ignore. The peace frog. Ignore. Alright, we're jumping. We'll try. As close as we can get. So, that way. Try that way. Okay. Try that one. Alright. We got it. What are you doing? I fell. Okay. I don't have any money. Upon completing your jump, you received a message from a nearby ship greeting and welcoming. Welcome to our beacon. Greetings and welcome to our beacon. For a small fee, we'll let you come on your way. Continue Conti con on your way. Reject their offer. Fight! Shit. We don't have any money. But we're gonna shoot and fire. Are we gonna steal their money? Yeah, dude. We're gonna fire at their shields first. And then we're gonna get the burst laser out. We're gonna fire at their shields, dude. Uh, Mike, you need to make sure you're working on our shields. Okay. I'm working on your shields. Am I doing good? The ship repeat repeatedly hails you. It it looks like they want you to suffer. Surrender! I know. Oh my god, Matt. I know. Put your glasses on. I can't. They're broken. The engineer will fix them. I don't know. And we're back. And we're back. Your scums reveal an ore refinery and several factories, all standing still and empty. No life signals detected. Okay. Distress, store, or more distress. We don't have to buy stuff, so let's go to distress closest. Well, if to we the go exit. to the store, we can buy either people or we can buy attachments for our ships. Yeah, let's go to the store then. I don't know if we'll have enough though. Well, we have 18, so it's not like too low, but it's not like too high. A transmission from a nearby planet indicates an outpost below which offers supplies to travelers. You send down an away party to check it out. Ah, uh, we can get nothing because we don't have 
any money for that. But can we buy a sled? We can buy fuel. We need fuel? Yeah. Dang. <laughs> um, we can buy multi-purpose ammo. Drone parts. Repairs. And we can't buy anybody. I want Beth the Rockman. This is Beth the Rockman. Try these on. What? Beth the Rockman. I can see things. There we go. I sewed his glasses together. <laughs> okay. I want Beth the Rockman. Immune to fire. Movement speed is halved. And then max health is increased to 150. Can you rename them? Uh, probably. I would assume so. We should name it to Rock Dan. But we don't have any... Oh yeah, well, yeah. So, jump! 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 Crisscross, I'll make you. Jump! Jump! jump. jump. Uh-huh, I'll make you. Jump! Jump! It's not that, and that, and Jump! It's Jump. You Some discover one of the rebels autonomous. Autonomous? Oh, autonomous? Is it? Autonomous. Is it really? Oh, it is autonomous. Autonomous scouts. The ship's AI wastes no time in engaging your ship. So we gotta fight. Oh shit, what is this thing? Kill it. Uh, I need to shoot shields. Oh, they got our shields down. Oh no. My lasers are broken. The fucker broke your lasers. Okay. Yeah, okay, we got him back. Because Colin's working furiously on our weapons. And you're working on fixing our shields every time. Ah, oh, because I'm an engineer! Okay, so we took out their drone. We destroyed their ship. There we go. High five. Awesome. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scraps of metal. So material. Got... Scrap material. Oh, well. Shut up. 37. Not enough to buy a person. Oh, actually, it's close. Yeah, but not enough. Jump. Jump again. To exit. Also, there's this. Which is basically an ex a wave of explosion. Let's not go that way. But we can go to the exit and go to the next dimension. The next dimension? Is this one? You left the needle in it. Yeah, I did. Hopefully that doesn't Don't kill me. Don't stab yourself. You arrived. You've arrived at the long-range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. Continue. Scans reveal a large asteroid field nearby. Short-range scanners may discover useful materials while we wait for the FTL to recharge. Explore the asteroid field. Or, too dangerous, we'll just wait for the FTL to charge. Charge. Which one? Adventure! Our pirate ship is hiding behind one large asteroid and attacks you. Oh shit, kill it. Kill it, dead! Uh, get rid of its weapons. We haven't done that. Powering its FTL. We have to destroy. Accept their offer! Please don't kill us. We'll give you everything we have. We do not accept surrender. Peace, frog! Alright, we need to get out of here. But we have to wait for the FTL drive to jump. Jump. Crisscross will make you. Jump. Jump. Alright, that will make you. How'd Colin get hurt? Huh? Colin got hurt. Alright, which one do you want to go? Oh, pirate controlled or pirate controlled? Uh, uh, let's go with pirate controlled. Okay, cool. Um, I want to go to a nebula eventually, so let's go this one. What? Oh, we couldn't do that. If the reports are true, this area has been under control of pirates for quite some time. Some traders will attempt to trade with the few settlements that remain, but they do so at great risk. Mm. Well, that means we must continue on. Mm -hmm. First laser, two. Wow, all these people are like really violent and stuff. They should really try sticking their tongues up their nasal cavity. So, let's send, while we're here, let's send everybody to uh, the healing room of healing. 
but I'm already healed. Yeah, no, but I figure might as well, and I'll put you in charge of the ship. I'm in charge of the ship? Yeah. Woo! Oot, oot. Who's going to make the thingy? He's going to engines. Who's he? Dan. Okay, Dan's going to engines. Let's go to exit. Just jump immediately. Let's go this way. Oh, so we recharged our uh, thingy? Yeah. Fast and life drivers. Charge. Your sons have picked up a refugee ship drifting through the system, no doubt. One of many fleeing the rebel advance. It doesn't appear to have detected you, or else it is trying to avoid notice. Ignore the refugees. Don't be a dick. So a pirate advances to the position they are refusing all hails to prepare for the fight. Kill right. them! Kill them dead! Go for the shields. Oh no, I need to get rid of that. Is that big gun? No. Intruders detected. Nick, go fight. There are people in the ship already? Yeah. Oh my god, kill them. Kill them dead. Destroy them. Peace frog! Accept their offer? Yes! We will not accept surrender! I'll send you back to, uh... Nick, they just tried to kill you. It's okay, I'm healing. I'm good, see? For now. I'm gonna send you... Matt, can we get aliens? Yeah. On our ship? Of course you can. Matt, replace me with an alien and name it MIG 2.0. Distress! Distress. Save. We must save them. It appears the distress beacon is coming from the surface of a nearby moon. Your senses are picking up a signal life form. A single life form. Go down the surface and investigate. Are you sure? Because it could be a trap. I don't care. You find a man living alone in a cave. From appearance of his... From the appearance of his wrecked ship, it seems he's been here for many years. He looks healthy, but his mental state is questionable. Bring yes. him back to your ship and hold. Yes. Continue. He seems in worse health than we first thought. He collapses on the trip to your ship. It doesn't look like he's going to make it. He died. Shit. Well, whatever. At least we tried. <laughs> Alright, we need to make some jumps. Cause, oh, okay, so here's a nebula. Okay, let's go there. But, uh, nebulas are different. Point. Sun! Moon! That's not a moon! Stars! That's a star, yeah. Beak has been placed too, cl too close to a supergiant Class M star! Exclamation point. That means it's important. Mm. The ship will gradually overheat until you get out of here or die. A pirate apparently oblivious to the danger of the sun moves into a gauge. Wow. Hurry up and kill them before we die. Okay, um, does he have a teleporter? No, okay, so I'm gonna get rid of them. Uh, their shield up, that's their engine. I'm gonna get rid of their engines so they can't go anywhere. No! Let them escape, don't kill their engines. I did. You're an asshole, Matt. Oh no, health station! Uh, except their offer. Bring now it. leave. Well, we have to wait for our fresh and light drive to charge. I mean, flame, come on! Come on, jump! Jump! Oh my god. Go to the nebula, hurry. Ah! <laughs> oh no. Attack, ignore. Yes, ignore the ship. It jumps, jumps away after time. There you go, see? Right. No! Oh my god, who died? Somebody died. Colin died! Dan, no. Dan, no, don't die! Dan, get out of there. All right, we're gonna all die. No, no! There's a fire here too. Dan, get out of there! <laughs> oh no! Ah! Oh no! Dan's dead. No. And now alone, Mick remains. Mick, you're all alone. Oh my god, all alone. Matt, I'm scared. Ignore. <laughs> Um, let's see if this is on fire. No, it's not. Okay. Let's get our 
spewing up online again. Will the fires eventually go away? I would hope so. Actually, you know what I can do? What? I'm gonna depressurize the cabins. That means get rid of the fire. Hopefully. Does that actually work? I, I don't know. I don't know. Can fire survive in oxygen? It can't, but I mean, what I'm worried about is, is that accurate? I don't know. We'll find out. Oh! <gasps> It did work. Okay, oh my god. So repair the shields. And now I'm all alone. The lone engineer. Oh no. Oh no, what happened? Oxygen's about to get low. Why are you depressurizing the oxygen? Because everything is this. Mick, we need to get you out of here. Out of where? How do we make my... How do we fix the air? Uh, we need to get you over the air right now. God. Matt, I'm so scared. <laughs> yeah, the oxygen is... Yeah, you're gonna die. Okay. Uh... We died. Do you want to do more of this? Are next time on game... Next... Do it. Say it. Next time on Mini Hippie, Gamer's Paradise. Yes, there you fuck go. Fuck yeah. Fuck, fuck yeah. Good to be back. Good to be back. It is good to be back. Bye.